Alex Hormozzi absolutely blew up on YouTube a few years ago, rapidly growing to over 2.5 million subscribers and establishing himself as one of YouTube's biggest business and personal development gurus. And he wears that funny thing on his nose. But you might find it surprising that Alex Hormozzi recently admitted that his YouTube channel, where he built this massive following, has been a failure. So in this video, we are going to break down why his channel failed, what Alex is doing to fix it, and how you can be a better creator by learning from his mistakes. Let's get into it. Okay, the first place I saw Alex admit that his channel had failed was in this community post a few months ago. You can pause the video and read this whole thing if you'd like, but the part I want to highlight first is the admission. Alex says, over the past six months, we experimented with wider content with the thesis it would bring more people into our world for business stuff. That proved untrue. In other words, despite getting more views and followers than any period in my content creating history, it wasn't bringing people who wanted business stuff. All right, so in summary, Alex says he was making content for a wider audience and his channel grew faster than before and he was more popular than ever. And while he doesn't use these words exactly, he is admitting that this audience growth didn't contribute to the revenue and profit growth he was hoping for with his business. In fact, it could have even had the opposite effect. Now to really get into this and learn from it, we first need to understand how Alex makes money from his YouTube channel. Alex doesn't create YouTube videos for the AdSense money. Alex doesn't create YouTube videos to get sponsorships or brand deals. He doesn't even use it for the primary goal to sell books or seminars or whatever. He does sell books and seminars, but even those things are self-liquidating offers that are meant to capture leads. They are not how he makes money. So how exactly does Alex make money then? That's a real question I'm asking you. Do you know? Do you think you know? You might know, but I actually think this is one of the root causes of Alex's issues with his channel. Until recently, Alex's offer has never been very clear, which is ironic considering he literally literally wrote the book, $100 million offers. But if you ask five different people, what is Alex Hormozzi's main offer? You'll get five different answers. I'll get into how Alex created all this confusion with his channel and marketing in just a minute. But first, let's finally get clear on how Alex makes money. Alex's goal with his YouTube channel is to drive leads for his venture capital company, Acquisition.com. Basically, in the most simple way I can explain it, Acquisition.com is a company that provides services to businesses like ad management, consulting, offer strategy, and things like that to help grow a business and its revenue quickly. And in exchange, they take equity in the business. They take ownership. Ultimately, that's how he makes money, by getting ownership stake in people's businesses. All right, so now that we have the big picture understanding of how Alex makes money, now let's get into why, in my opinion, Alex's channel hasn't been as effective as he wants. And it differs a bit from what he posted. I think it all starts with how Alex initially branded himself when his meteoric rise on YouTube started. Almost every video began with Alex saying, I have nothing to sell you. He really branded himself as this cool, different, not like the other guys style marketer. He doesn't have anything to sell you. He just has all this knowledge and free information to provide to help business owners. And all of this even culminated where he had this big live stream broadcast with thousands of people on live just like you'd see Tony Robbins do. And he got everybody really primed to and honestly expect some type of big paid offer or program or course or whatever. And he did reveal multiple courses and then revealed that it was all actually free on his website acquisition.com. He had this big sales event and didn't sell anything. It was incredibly smart. He built so much trust and authority in branding himself this way over the years. But it's also a double-edged sword because it enabled him to build up a huge audience, but has it been the right audience? Because there is a very difficult line to walk when you're the cool marketer with nothing to sell people. Because you are positioning yourself and making your brand appeal to people who don't buy things, who don't value information. You're appealing to super skeptical people that think everything is a scam and who likely are never going to be a customer of yours anyway. And people with super limited mindsets like that are definitely never gonna have a business he'd ever wanna have equity in anyway. This was made worse by the fact that Alex's channel had gotten a little scattered, where one day there'd be a fitness video, then a business video, then a video about his relationship with his wife. It 
really started to muddy the water. It became less clear what Alex's brand even is, and that's not good for generating revenue. Which, Alex figured this out. That's in large part what his community post is about, this realization. And then he charts out some things he is doing to fix this. Alex said, no more wide general content. I'm only making business stuff for business owners. Two, no more ADD high production. It'll be light edits and mostly uncut. Three, more long form. This is good. I mostly agree with this direction. The part I'm not fully on board with though is this part here. When people say things like this, the thought process is typically around the type of audience you are attracting with your content. And the thing I hear repeated all the time is that the type of person that watches longer content, 30 minutes to 40 minutes and beyond, uh, lecture content for instance, is a much higher quality lead. And I agree that's true, but I don't exactly agree with the premise of why. For instance, I think the best video on Alex Hermosi's channel is this one. It's very short, only seven minutes long and it's highly produced, but the content and value delivered in this video is very high and it speaks to the exact type of person he wants to be speaking to. So imagine this highly produced video was now 40 minutes long instead. Will someone who watches that be less likely to become a customer because of the production and editing style? I don't personally think so. I think the editing style and production style matters a lot less. It has more to do with the value of the content and the theme of the content. It just so happens that the most amount of value is delivered in longer form content. I've sold over $62 million on the internet over the last 10 years, mostly by creating content. And a very common question I get asked is how long does this sales video need to be or how long should this webinar be or how long should my sales calls last and my answer is always the same as long as they need to be and not a second longer okay now that we've covered the audience mismatch i want to circle back to the issue of alex's offer being confusing i actually think this is his biggest issue and from my perspective while he has made strides to fix this problem it's still very prevalent and i'll prove it to you I watched a ton of the new style videos Alex has been posting on his channel. Most of the videos are lectures filmed from inside his offices where he is teaching to groups of business owners that paid to be at his in-person seminars. The content is very valuable, but because the content is actually targeted for people in the room with him and not the audience watching on YouTube, Alex never really explains acquisition.com and what the benefits clearly are to someone. He rarely, if ever, makes any calls to action to drive traffic somewhere. And that's not the problem, to be clear. He's still being the cool marketer that just provides tons of value and doesn't self-promote. He is instead relying on you as the viewer being wowed by his content to investigate acquisition.com yourself organically. And that's a great tactic. It enables him to build more trust with the viewer but his process is broken. On YouTube, his video description is currently serving as the primary thing that kinda sorta explains acquisition.com and what it's doing, and it drives the interest to click the link to check it out. But I'd argue that the copy could still be greatly improved here because I don't think it drives enough interest or provides enough clarity. We don't have time for me to rewrite his copy here, but you see the link at the top of his description. Want to scale your business? Go here, and it leads to acquisition.com. Okay, so if I do this, I'm taken to his website, which immediately tries to throw me into a survey and bucket me, and there's no way to escape this thing. The purpose of this survey for Alex is to figure out if I'm a potential lead for his VC fund, and then he will try to get me on a call with his team and close me, or if I'm a better fit for something else. But basically, this is the entry point to his funnel, far as I'm concerned and it's exactly why he is struggling to attract clients right now. It's because this stupid survey right here is messing up his lead flow and doesn't make any sense in connection with all his other content. I guarantee you that the bounce rate on this page is massive, and I don't care about arguments that the quality of leads is higher so the bounce rate being high is okay. No, that's clearly not true. Alex has already told us he isn't getting the quality leads he desires. So let me very easily summarize the problem. If I just watched all 10 of Alex Hormozzi's recent YouTube videos and spent hours and hours taking in his content, because of the way his content is structured, I still have no real idea of what acquisition.com does or clear outcomes or benefits for me on why I should be interested. And then if I do come here, 
I'm given a survey to complete that does not tell me why I should be completing it. It does not communicate anywhere on this page what the value is going to be for me when I complete it. The benefits, the outcomes, the solutions, none of it. I see no solutions to my problems promised. There is little to no curiosity being triggered. So most people, they never complete this. This thing right here, this is what is killing Alex Hormozzi's sales more than anything. The entry point to his lead flow is flawed. Not enough people are getting into it because it's just not logical. So how can Alex instantly solve this? Well, there are many ways, some more complicated than others. So I'll just give you the simple one. This survey should be replaced with a piece of video content. That piece of video content should very, very clearly and transparently explain what acquisition.com is, who they are trying to work with, and the very clear outcomes and benefits for someone that decides to work with them. Because that doesn't really happen in his content anymore, and it doesn't happen in a way that's super clear. It's always very superficial if it does happen. So it should happen in a video here. And that video should drive people to the survey. And that's it. That's all it would take to massively improve his lead flow and get way more people to take that survey.